Hello guys, welcome to AI Sciences once again and today we are going to learn how can we improve our, our coding skills. By the way, in order to improve your coding coding skills, you have to have some coding skills, some raw coding skills, right? So if you don't know anything about, about coding, you have to learn coding first. This video will teach you how can you improve your coding skills and the only method to improve your coding skills is to practice. Now the question is where should we practice? There are a bundle of platform platforms available or should we hire a personal tutor or, or how, how can we do it? So here is a website called Code Wars. Uh, I, I recently came across this website and, and it is really beautiful thing to, to practice on. It is free. You can sign up on, on this website and then you can you can do some settings of, of this website according to your, your need. For example, if you go to uh, uh, this, but by the way, this, this uh, numerical digit, it shows my rank. Um, the more problems you solve, the more your rank will increase. So there will be a time when when you will reach the... So if we go over there, here, here you can see that we have some opportunities. We have a leaderboard, chat, everything, discussions. Um, so uh, when you will you will gain more ranks, probably you will be contacted by different different uh, you know uh, industries for the job or something like that, right? So okay, so I was telling you if you go over here in training setup, um, you will see a beautiful thing. So uh, it asks you that which specialization, uh, I mean, which specialized programming track are you uh, interest? Are you most interested in? <laughs> okay. So so uh, let's say in our case, I'm interested in data science, and then it it asks you that what is your current programming skill skill level, right? So if you're very beginner, you can say learning to program or something like that, right? I am I have chosen proficient, right? Okay. So then. Um, I mean, it has bundle of programming languages, right? You can see over here. So you can choose any of these. For me, I have chosen Python. I want to work in Python. I want to practice in Python. So I've, I've chosen Python. I, I mean, it has dozens of programming languages to work on, to work with. Okay, so the next thing is, um, I mean, these are not very much relevant things. So here you can save the settings and then um, and then you can uh, ask for Kata. So Kata, Kata is, you can say, uh, Kata is a task in um, in this code war thing. So let's say this is a Kata. This is a task that you want to solve, that uh, you've asked to solve, right? So what it says, it says that given a string of words, right? you need to find the highest scoring word. What do we mean by this? So here, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to solve one kata live for you guys so that you can get to know the idea that what actually happens inside it. So each letter of word score scores points according to its position in alphabet. So for example, A will be one, B will be two, C will be three, and Z will be the maximum, right? So you need to return the highest scoring word as a string, fine. Okay, so if two words score the same, return the first word that appears in the original string, right? So all letters will be in lowercase. So this is the assumption, right? So input will be valid and all letters will be in lowercase. So if I want to work on, on this task, I will say train, right? If I don't want to work on this ta task, I want to change the task, I'll say next kata, right? So I want to work on it, so let, let's train on it. So uh, something like this will open over here. So here are some, um, some examples here are some use cases on which our code will be tested right so here we have to write the code right so first thing first uh, so this x is sort of a string that we are going to receive as a parameter so what we'll say is we'll say max value equals to zero for example and max um, word equals to let's say empty string right okay so here i'll say for word in x dot split right this split will uh, you know um uh, split the the whole string into the words based upon the spaces right and then here i'll i'll say for letter in word right and again i'm iterating over the letter right so here i'll say value equals to zero for example it will be zero uh, for every word right and then here i'll say by the way how can you get the ascii value of um, of any any letter so 
here is how you can get the ASCII value of any letter, right? So ORD is, is a method available in Python. So ASCII value of A is, um, is 97, by the way. So if we want to make A equals to 1 like this, we'll say 97 minus 96, right? So ORD letter minus 96, right? Makes sense. And then we, we want to do something like value equals to value plus this, right? So um, after the end of this loop, we'll be getting the value of each word. And here we will be comparing that if value is greater than the max value. Um, let me do some in addition over here. So if this is the case, then update the max value. Uh, to the value right since now this is the new maximum value and also update the max word which is the maximum word now uh, the maximum word now is word because we have iterated over this word right so by the end we'll be having this word over here great so uh, another thing that was written is if two words score the same return the word that appears earliest in the original string so it will do the same because i'm not using equal to sign over here right so the last thing that we want to do is what we want to return the max word right so um so far it looks fine to me so i will what i will do is i will um, I will test it, right? So when I when I when I'll click on test, it will test our our this program uh, before some some use cases, some uh, limited use cases. So let me run. Um, so okay, so it has passed all all eight use cases, right? Um, you can you can check it out over here as well, right? So now uh, I can attempt to submit it finally. So it it has some hidden use cases, a lot of hid hidden use cases that will be tried upon it. So if I'll attempt to submit it, so here you can see that it has passed 110 use cases. So great, great. So it says that impressive, you may take your time to uh, refactor uh, your solution, right? Okay, so now the most important and fun part comes into play. You have done, previously I, my score was 165, now it is 173. So if I'll submit it, right, finally, if I'll submit it, submit it the cool thing about it, about it is you will be able to unlock the solution the the most beautiful solutions right so here you, you can see that our solution was uh, was somewhere like uh, I, I don't know seven eight line or ten line solution now this is one liner solution for it right so uh, beautiful thing you can you can learn about it then here is another solution right um, here is another solution but I don't think <laughs> it it is that good uh, again another one liner solution right i mean in python community one liner solutions are considered the 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 better solutions right so um so you you have done multiple things you have solved a problem uh, by by using your own mind and then you you're able to uh, unlock the best solutions for you so that you can learn how can you improve your coding skills also you have you're able to increase your score in kata so yeah that's that's about code wars that's how you can improve your your uh, not only python but any programming skills right programming language skills so that's about it um we are ai sciences please check out the link in description if you want to learn more about python more about data science artificial intelligence big data data engineering check out our, our website we have a lot of courses available for you guys we have a lot of books available for you guys thank you very much Thank <music> you.